I made Bird in Space thir about 30 years ago. The sculpture is made mostly of nylon cord, trying to create s as much lightness as possible. That it kind of appears and disappears. It's very present at some points, and it just goes away. I'm Liz Larner. I'm here at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. I didn't really study sculpture in school. My degree is in photography. So that's one thing I learned in school was that I didn't want to take pictures of things. I wanted to make things. I wanted Bird in Space to be, uh, you know, to refer to Brancusi's Bird in Space. I mean, it's, it started as that with the idea, but to reinterpret it in a different form with different dependencies and different material. I wanted to have the bird flying in space and taking up a lot of space. But then there's these two heavy blocks that sort of hold the sculpture itself to the earth, and they are what gives it the tension. I wanted my work to sort of reassert or assert <laughs> a female, a, a feminine point of view. There's a, a term for, for for a woman or a girl to, of, as a bird. And so I'm like, the idea of the freedom of a, a woman or a girl being in space and still dependent, still attached to her surroundings, but um, I wanted to reinterpret that as well.